we're setting up a test rig for the Unify Protect cameras. We're trying out the new ones, the G5 Bullet, G5 Dome, AI360, AI Bullet, G4 Instant, the AI Theta, and the G5 Flex. So I'm gonna set them all up in a row so we can have real world comparisons of how each one's gonna work. Uh, we initially had a setup where we just kind of slapped them all on the board, kind of similar to this, but we put it on a ladder. It worked for a little bit, but we wanna kind of upgrade. We're gonna set it up in the corner of our office on the railing where like where we would normally mount a camera. So first thing I wanna do is I want to see what each mounting bracket each camera comes with. Mock it up, drill my holes, mount the bracket to it, and throw them on there. So this is the G5 Flex. It honestly feels and looks exactly like the previous gen. The G5 Flex is super easy, just small little bracket. Looks like two screws straight down and we're good to go. There's a little hole for the uh, ethernet cable to go through here and that should work no problem. So for the G4 Instant, it's a little bit different actually. This one seems to come with a USB-C connection. So instead of running ethernet over PoE, we're gonna have to plug this into power to test it on our rig. All right, moving up, we're gonna use the uh, G5 dome. So the dome actually uses the same mounting system as the previous generation. It's just a small little plate with four little screw holes. You simply place that right on your mounting surface and it lines right up with the back of your device. It just slides and locks in place. All we have to do is make sure we drill a little hole in the back for the ethernet port for PoE. Moving right up, we have the G5 bullet. Better for outdoors, in my opinion. You get um, further range. It's not as fish high view as the, the uh, G5 dome is. This is the AI Bullet. This one is the same system. It's a little bit beefier. Um, as you can tell, camera's a little bit heavier, so you're gonna have to deal with the weight a little bit, but no difference, just two screw holes and the Ethernet in the center again. Next, we have the AI360. This is gonna be more of a just a top mount down, so it's gonna be hanging from the ceiling looking down on your area. Okay, this looks to have basically the same mounting system as our uh, G5 dome. As you can see, the box does also contain uh, another dome piece that goes on it. I know that we'll go more in depth on this one uh, later on. All right, next one is the AI Theta. This is gonna be the most packed up product that we have here. It has a bunch of little pieces here, but you've got your little cameras. These are incredibly small. We have these uh, different mounting brackets for depending on where you're putting it. Uh, these definitely remind me of the older style Unify cameras where you used to slip the tube into the ceiling tile and then you'd mount a bracket underneath it. We're gonna have to drill some bigger holes for these to make sure they fit inside our little board here, but uh, I think that'll work out. Um, these cameras also do use something a little different than all the other ones. These ones use USB-C as well. You've got two ports and then a PoE coming in on the backside there. So you can mount this above your tile and then have your USB-C popping right through. So it makes a nice little small camera uh, footprint. Okay, so now we have all our mounting brackets lined up and ready to go. I'm just going to mark my little holes where everything's gonna go. The only thing we can't forget about is we need to make room for the PoE. I'm gonna mock up each camera and just see where they're placed and see where I need to poke the hole through so it lines right up with the camera. set these mounts aside and we'll just start drilling. So that's all the holes for the ethernet cables and power cables going through. I'm just gonna go back through now and just screw in the mounts for each one of these cameras. Okay, we've got all our mounting brackets ready to go. And we've got our holes poked for all our ethernet cables. So let's go ahead and get our rig ready. We're gonna probably just poke these ethernet cables through. Are you gonna have the PLS look pretty close by? Maybe I'll mount it to the back side of the board. That'd be nice to keep it like all inclusive of everything that I need up there. Even put like a power brick up there or something because uh, I have to use USB-C on the other one. I also have only one USB-C cable for this one. I'm not sure why. Sweet, so I think we're ready to go on all these. I have everything mounted up, cords poked through. So we're ready to just plug in all the cameras and get them all mounted. So the little guy's gonna poke in here. Angles is, is hard for me, okay? Clay, do you know if the uh, AI camera, AI Theta uses both at once or just one? I don't know. All right. So this is our testing setup. I think we're all ready to go. So behind me, I've got a ladder already set up, ready to go. I'm just gonna clamp it right to the beams. All right, away we go. All right, 
So at this point, I've got power going up here and an ethernet cable going up. I'm gonna put a network switch just right above it, connect all these into it. Maybe a little power strip because we do have to use USB-C for the uh, instant. These will be good to run and we can get our uh, test through. We've got the test bed set up up there ready to test. It looks really good actually. I'm excited to see the videos that come out from it. If you guys wanna see, we have another video previous to this one that has the previous generation cameras. And then you also have another video coming out with this uh, new cameras that we just mounted coming up soon. So make sure you pay attention to that. Subscribe, like, hit the bell, and we'll get back to you with that. Thanks.